For you that want to buy or already buy this ticket management system, this is how we set up this application after we download it. And first, this is the requirement. Uh, we need to have at least Visual Studio 2022. We need to have SQL Server Express. And the optional thing, this is a SQL Server Management Studio. It will easier for us to maintaining this application. But if you have another SQL Server application, it's okay also. And you will get this zip file after you download this project. And what you can do is you can just extract it. In here, I'm using a WinRAR. I just uh, extract here. And then you will get the folder in here. And just double click in here. If you already install Visual Studio, it will automatically opening Visual Studio. All right, we can see the project now. First, we need to set up our database. And to do that, you need to open your application setting in here. And this is the default configuration. We are using SQL Server Express. And then this is the database name. Currently, I already have this database. So I want to change the name of database to Ticket Management DB2. And next, we need to open the tools, Nugget Package Manager and Package Manager Console. And what you need to do is you need to update database. And make sure the default project is infrastructure. And this is the optional, but it's better to set the ticket management UI as a startup project. So we can enter. Okay, in here we adding a new table, new database, and new data into our SQL Server Express. And if you're not having the database, this is the ticket management DB to database, it will automatically create it. All right, it's complete. It's actually inserting all the requirement of database from this project, like a table structure and the data. And if you not having this uh, database, it will automatically creating the database. So now if we see, I have opening my SQL Server Management Studio. And then, yeah, I have some database before. I want to refresh it. We are able to see the Ticket Management DB2. This is our new table. And then we can just start it to try. But for default user account, uh, you can see in here. Where is there? Sit. This is uh, the default account we use test at gmail.com and this is the password okay this is the email and password so let's we start it and i need to put this email and password and login all right now by default we should change the default password in here but for now it's okay and you should be able to use this application right now and if you want to add more user, you can do in here, you can add a new user in here. All right, that's it. Thank you for you if you already purchased it. And if you have any question, you can always email me at, uh, at uh, alvinmolana.nrs at gmail.com. Thank you.